You wanted to see me, sir? Mendoza, have a seat. Let's change things up for you, too. Relax. He's not gonna make you direct traffic. Well, not yet. So Leo, our good friend, he told us what he knew and he walked right out the door. He came in for protection, I thought. Tell Nick what Leo gave up. Drug bails. You're shitting me. Planes go up, drugs come down. Plop. Right into the Everglades. Show him. A fishing map. Whose operation is this? Some shipbird named Remy Neltz. Two years ago, this Neltz character was nothing, a blip on the radar. Now, he runs the entire operation that employed Tyson Latchford. Sounds like a man of ambition. Yes, he does. I want you two to wade into that mud hole we call a national park and find out just how ambitious he is. Sir, why would Leo rat on his boss and then just walk out into the open? Well, Leo said he didn't feel safe around cops anymore. We're done. Actually, Mendoza, stay a minute. Of course. Your partner can be a bit of a hothead. Well, she believes in what she's doing, sir. <laughs> Good answer. Sit down, son. There are gonna be some complaints about the Elmore. Excessive force, etc., etc. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Well, we appreciate that. Mm. Thank you, sir. How's your mother, Detective? Sorry, sir. Your mother? I'm sure she went through a lot to get you out of Cuba. <laughs> you don't become a detective, especially at your age, without a thorough background check. And you have a lot of background to check. Sir, it's all right. I know what it's like to have a shithead for a father, too. Took me a long time to find my way. And you? You're on the right path, son. Stay on it. Jesus Christ, Leo's map is confusing. The scale is all wrong, but I think this is it. Leo just gave Dawes that map. Just handed it over. Handed over an unbelievably shitty map. Yeah, but what's in it for him? That's what I don't understand. Well, he's obviously being pressured by someone or something. Whoever's dropping these bales, Leo wants us to know about it. So we can take out his competition, right? Leo knows he's done in Miami. I had to guess, he's probably setting up a meth lab in Iowa right about now. What the hell were you thinking anyway, beating him up like that? Leo had an attitude problem. And we could have had an internal affairs problem. There's our girl. Take us toward the drop. Narcos track their bales by radio. The number on Leo's map must be the frequency. And look at that. We got a pig. Get me close enough to a bale and I'll tag it with a tracking dart. That way when someone comes to pick these things up, we'll know exactly where they go. You know, back when the cartels ran their drugs through Miami, these swamps were filled with smugglers. Maybe history's repeating itself. <laughs> Let's hope not. Back then, cartel guys were gunning each other down at their kids' birthday parties. Yeah, I remember. I was just a kid back then, but I saw some crazy shit. Blood on the sidewalk, pit bulls with their throats slashed. How the hell did your mom keep you out of all that shit? Well, it's gonna sound a little corny. She worked hard. And she loved me. Yeah, that sounds pretty goddamn corny. <laughs> Mama's boy. <laughs> Never would have guessed.
tagged it. Now let's see where it goes. And we got another pig. Lead on, partner. There's at least 10 kilos in that bale. Americans love their drugs. My point is, this is not a small operation. Dawes wouldn't have us out here if it was. So say the cartels are using Miami to move product again. Why would they do that? My best guess? Mexico's gotten way too scary. The average smuggler will risk prison but not having his head chopped off by some Zeta. <laughs> Americans do love their drugs. And hey, it's a big deal that Dawes put us on this. You know that, right? Oh, I know. Problem is, the stuff we're doing can't exactly bring to a DA. Who gives a shit? This is way more fun. By the way, Captain Dawes, that guy was reckless as hell when he was young. Yeah, I heard that about him. It's just a risky way to work, that's all. Word of advice. You want to get on the Captain's good side? Take the gloves off. Oh, is that what this is? Bare knuckle police work? <laughs> now you're catching on. Pull up to the dock. A lot of gators out here. Yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. <laughs> 